<sighs> so it's that time of the year where many people are fiddling with visioning, vision boarding, vision planning, and what have you. And uh, it is a beautiful thing to do. First of all, you can't even be discouraged. Um, from doing it because we have seen it evolve. People have testimonies and all. But I want to share with you four mistakes Christians make in vision boarding that most likely is giving them some challenges in using it. I myself, I started using vision boarding in 2018 and I tell you, my life has changed. Literally, I had nothing known about vision boarding before then. I just heard it from my place of prayer and then i just kick started it it's a long journey it's in my resources that you can you know always um, look out for but then let me go straight into those four mistakes you might be making as a believer because the case is different <laughs> isn't it the first thing is that as a believer in christ many people do not even believe in vision boarding but they do it that's a huge problem because as a believer in Christ, whatever is not of faith is sin. Technically, it falls, you know, beyond the glory of God. It does not fulfill its intention because it is not by faith. So if you are a believer, you can't just jump on vision boarding because it's trendy. You have to believe in it. So what do you do if truly you are in that space where you do not believe or have faith in vision boarding? Just search search the word listen research find out lord do you want me to involve in this i would rather you take your time to research and come to that place of belief and faith before you engage in the action because engaging in the action without faith delivers nothing so that may be the first reason you are having problems with having results in your vision boarding processes number two is vision board is a tool it's not the vision in itself. Your vision board is supposed to represent your vision. So if you believe in the vision board without believing the vision that God has given you, then the board cannot deliver the result. The power is not in the board for your vision board. The power is in the vision. The power is in you that has the ability to have a vision. So if you are primarily dependent on the vision board to deliver the vision results, then you are already flawed. You need to know that the board is an instrument for expression, right? So if you are putting your faith in the vision board, then it's going to be difficult. You may not get the results. What you need to fixate and, you know, zoom in on is the vision itself, which takes me to the third point. One of the mistakes believers are making is to think that they are primarily vision creators. So technically, as believers, we do not create our lives. Remember Jesus in the scripture saying, I don't do anything except what I see my father do. Meaning Jesus functioned from a template. And that is why I say through my own vision boarding processes that you catch the vision, then you cast it on the board. So what you need to do as a believer is to know how to catch the visions of God for your life, how to see what God is saying about you. So one of my own anchor scriptures for vision boarding is Abba chapter 2 verse 1 and 2, which says, I will stand upon my watch to see what it shall say. And then, you know, God responds and said, write the vision, make it plain. Look at it. First of all, this guy is standing upon his watch to see what he shall say. That is why for me, vision boarding is a prophetic process and a prophetic experience. You need to know how to press into your spirit, man, and extract, catch what the heavens has already implanted into your spirit and then let your soul grasp it. The finer you are in that process, the easier it is for you to lay hold on a vision that can manifest. Then you put that on a board. If you do not understand this process, most likely your vision board won't deliver as it should deliver because you're a believer. And lastly, you know, many people have come to me or I've encountered them and they're like, 
I am traumatized with vision boarding because everything I wrote on it last year did not work. And one of the things the Holy Spirit has taught me, I can remember vividly him telling me, if it is a vision board, not a goals board. Your vision board is not a goals board. Well, if you decide to have a goals board, then no, it is a goals board. That means these are my goals. And these are the pictures that represent my goals. But a vision board most times in its elaborate form is to cast a vision. And when God gives you that vision that you catch, it is not necessarily going to be fulfilled in one year. <laughs> when God gives you a vision that he did not put a time on it, why are you putting a human time on it that is frustrating you, making you feel traumatized? So because you did not achieve it last year, does not mean you cannot still achieve it this year. What you need to do is say, Lord, what goals am I supposed to extract from this particular vision, right? What is in my season for this vision? That could be your next goal, right? So don't be frustrated because you have turned your vision into goals board. Your vision board represents your vision. Then from it, you can extract your goals for the season, for the time frame, and follow through with it, right? So, um, one thing also you need to know that that point is it expands. Your vision boards can grow. So I prefer that approach where I know that this vision is evolving as God, you know, is helping my mind to catch what he's saying. So I could increase and improve and expand on my vision board. I do not have to put the pressure of time on myself. The pressure of time comes on my goals, not my vision. Do you get it? Let me add one extra thing, actually. Who you become while you are pursuing this vision is more important. In fact, I strongly believe that when God wants to evolve you into a newer version of you in your soul, you know, your spirit is already complete. Your spirit is already who it needs to be. But when God wants to evolve its manifestation, he invites you into a vision. Is God inviting you into a vision today? Do not let the trauma of last year's vision boarding experience traumatize you and disconnect you from what God might be inviting you into. A vision is God's invitation card to journey with him so that you can become that person that can dominate, rule the earth for the kingdom. I believe this video has helped you. If it has, please reach out to me.